Fatty, sugary foods no longer have the same appeal for Alex Blakemore. Since having a gastric bypass operation, the cravings have gone and she's lost eight stone. Now, I just don't want that dessert. She can now breathe and move more easily and it's reduced the risk of long-term problems. It's to do with my health and preventing disability, which was surely coming to me. I didn't actually have diabetes, but my parents did, and my risk of diabetes was nearly over 90%, nearly 100%. And this has, at least so far, prevented that. The health watchdog NICE says the benefits of weight loss surgery are so great that it should no longer be considered as a last resort. Under new NHS guidelines, two million obese people with recently diagnosed type 2 diabetes in England could qualify for the operation if they've tried other ways of losing weight. The rigorous assessment means just 5,000 a year are expected to go through with the procedure on top of the 6,500 who have it at present at a cost of £6,000 each. But almost two-thirds are able to stop expensive diabetes medication and surgery pays for itself within two to three years. This is surgery that alters how the body works and that it does have profound benefits for people with type 2 diabetes. It puts their diabetes into remission. It's a safe, effective surgery. It saves lives. It saves money. And we really need to get that message across. But some researchers say the guidelines are too dismissive of very low-calorie diets, which can also reverse diabetes. There is very much a bias towards bariatric surgery, which I think is totally inappropriate. It will cost the NHS hundreds of millions of pounds over this uh, intervening years. Uh, and there are other methods of dealing with the problem before we proceed to bariatric surgery. It should always be a last resort. NICE concedes there is stigma over weight loss surgery even in the NHS. It warns that must stop if the country is to deal with the consequences of the obesity epidemic. Thomas Moore, Sky News.